Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you something different. In addition to the general monthly readings I put out at the beginning of the month and mid-month, I am now adding at least this month at least. We'll see what the feedback is and how it goes. I will be adding uh, for each of the 12 signs a short a love and romance focused video, a snapshot or a glimpse of the month ahead. Shorter than the general videos, uh, only three cards to give a look ahead, potentially a glimpse at what the month holds for love and romance for each of the 12 signs. Uh, there's still general readings, of course, and there's uh, still a lot of you watching, so they're not going to mean the same. Make sure to check your rising and your moon sign love snapshot videos, too, because they're going to resonate differently for different people in different degrees, depending on who's watching. Uh, and if any of you, of course, are interested in any more personal one-on-one -on -one just for you reading, you can click on the About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage. If you haven't read with me before, that'll give you a little more information and detail. It also has my email address. Please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. You can also find me uh, at that same email address on PayPal should you choose to donate a dollar or two in support of my channel. Uh, all donations are gratefully and graciously accepted as I am saving up for a new computer system. I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm able to get back with you pretty quickly. And current turnaround time for personal readings is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks, but almost always within a two-week period of time, we can schedule a reading for you. So moving right along, uh, this reading, this love snapshot, is for the water sign of Cancer for May 2017. A glimpse, a snapshot into love and romance for the water sign of Cancer, Cancer the Crab for May 2017. What is in store for Cancers in love and romance, May 2017. Three cards. A glimpse of love and romance for Cancer for May 2017. Okay, Cancer, your first card is the Four of Cups. Your second card is the Knight of Wands. And your third card is the Lovers. Wow. Looks like some heat in love and romance for a lot of you Cancerians out there. So your first card is the Four of Cups. This is water energy. That's the element that governs cups. And this suit actually manifests in the emotional, physical part of our lives. Love, relationships, emotions, feelings. It's about our emotional landscape and how we relate to people in the relationships that we have. So the Four of Cups can be a card of boredom, uh, sometimes boredom or ingratitude for what you have uh, can represent that what you have in your life uh, represented by these cups next to this man is actually pretty good, but per you're not emotionally connected to it anymore. It could represent uh, emotionally disconnected, the shine has worn off of it, uh, and there's another cup being handed to him out of the sky uh, as if it were an opportunity or an offering of some kind, but he doesn't seem particularly interested in any of those things. It's like kind of the shine has gone off of it. it. It can be a card that represents kind of feeling stagnant. Uh, bored, disconnected. For those of you who are in a committed relationship, this card could represent that your relationship may be going through a bit of a stale or stagnant period right now. Maybe the shine's kind of gone off of it. And the advice for the Four of Cups, uh, you know, if this is a relationship that you care, you know, you really care about or invested in, it's worth the effort to kind of get up and uh, maybe explore doing some things to put the spark back into the romance, uh, a spark of, of romance and passion back into the relationship. Uh, maybe switch around your dating life if you still don't have a dating life with your partner. Uh, maybe go out on a trip. Do something, you know, to, uh, to kind of get that spark back. Some of you, I'm actually getting distance. You may be kind of, you may have a partner who, who travels a lot or travels for business or is away right now or has been away for a while and you just feel, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of emotionally disconnected in terms of the relationship. For those of you that are single and looking for love and romance or, you know, dating around and want more love and romance, this would represent that you're, you could be dating, but just nobody's really kind of struck your fancy. And the, the cup being offered to you may represent that there could be somebody in front of you which has, a, has made it clear that there's a romantic attachment to you or a romantic interest in you, uh, but you're not really interested in what they have to offer. Um, it could just be that you're single and not really maybe actively dating, but just kind of feeling kind of blah, kind of emotionally disconnected from it as well.
but I do see movement coming in, a lot of movement coming in. It kind of, I kind of have to wonder what happens for some of you. It's like some of you, something happens to kind of make things start moving forward very quickly because right after that, your second card, we have the Knight of Wands. Here we have fire energy. That's the element which governs the suit of wands. So it's a very fiery suit. It's fairly dynamic and act, active, uh, action oriented. The energy of wands is, is creative energy. It's about building, manifesting, creating, change, movement, action, power. The Knight of Wands, Knights are the bringers, the, tar the deliverers of the tarot, so they often represent offers or opportunity or the speed at which a situation moves. This can also represent um, an individual in your sphere. For those of you in a committed relationship, it could be your partner. Uh, for those of you, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and this would be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. For those of you who are single, it could be somebody that just comes in really fast, all of a sudden. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or someone who strongly manifests the character traits of the Knight of Wands, uh, very fast moving uh, kind of energy, very passionate if this were an actual person, this would be somebody who'd be a fast mover, somebody who would be coming in very quickly, kind of sweeping you off your feet, a fair amount of passion uh, and enthusiasm attached to this too, because it's fire energy as well. For those of you in a committed relationship, it could be that there is something that happens, perhaps your partner comes back from a trip, or you go away on vacation, or you know, you, you put some effort, action, and intention into your relationship to bring the spark back, and I feel like it is wildly successful for a lot of you. Uh, single people, again, somebody coming in and sweeping you off your feet or making the offer or opportunity to. For a few of you, although I feel like this is lesser of you, those of you that are single or just kind of dating around casually, this Knight of Wands could represent an offer or opportunity that comes in very fast or someone that comes in uh, with an offer but you're not... Uh, you're, you're not all that enthusiastic about it. But I think for the majority of you, there's some passion coming in, a lot of fire coming in. I, f I keep getting temptation to, and it, maybe for those of you who are single, maybe it's a temptation to go out with someone who's expressed an interest in you that you think may not be the best match for you, but it's exciting nonetheless. The temptation could also be for those of you in a committed relationship, there may be somebody coming in expressing, you know, maybe wanting to have an affair or a fling or something, because I keep getting temptation kind of in their uh, Deception is never a good idea, but we live in a free will zone. So anyway, it looks like whatever this offer or opportunity is, it has got a lot of fire behind it, and it's quite passionate. Now, your third and final card, Cancer, is the lovers. Uh, karmic connection between the two of you, whether it's uh, with your partner, for those of you who are committed, or somebody that you are meeting in the month of May. It could be somebody you just met, somebody you're meeting now, or somebody you're going to be meeting in May. Uh, and... It, it, there's the lovers is like the two of cups, uh, kind of a karm, uh, soulmate, kindred spirit, but because it's a connection, but because it's major arcana, uh, the energy of this whole reading is making me stutter too. Because it's major arcana, this is significant. This is a relationship that could be, uh, for some of you, almost obsessive. It's a very, very, there's a lot of, uh, magnetism in this relationship, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of uh, powerful sexual energy, a lot of attraction, a lot of sparks going on there. And there is kind of that karmic connection between the two of you as well. Could be a soulmate or kindred spirit relationship. So again, for those of you that are in a committed relationship, this could be a uh, sudden renewal in uh, you know the passion, excitement part of your relationship. Uh, it could be the temptation for this coming from somebody other than your partner. For those of you who are looking for love and romance, wow, it looks like it comes in with a bang for a lot of you Cancerians. And this is, it's it's fast moving, it's hot and heavy right from the start. There is a lot of heat and fire and passion in this uh, relationship potentially for the two of you. The lovers also can represent uh, needing to make a significant choice that will affect your relationship as well. In the early tarot decks, this was actually called a choice, and it showed a man standing in front of two women. Uh, the implication being that um, a decision needed to be made that was going to affect the lives of more than just one person. So it could be that somebody is coming in, for those of you, again, who are committed. It could be, because I keep getting this temptation, it could be that there is uh, a temptation in front of you to stray from your partner or have an affair. Uh, 
um, of course, you know, how you, you have to make up your own mind about how you choose to deal with that. But I feel like the temptation is quite strong because there's such, uh, there's such a spark, such a magnetism between the two of you. And you may uh, end up making a decision to, um, to leave your current relationship in order to explore the potential of this. For those of you who are single and dating, again, no lack of heat in this connection, no lack of attraction, even if even if it doesn't really get fully explored this month, it's like you guys meet and you are instantly attracted to each other. It's like there's an instant fire that starts between the two of you. And this whole sense of being emotionally disconnected and feeling like there's nothing going on in my love life, there's nothing going on in my relationship, it it's gone potentially because this looks very exciting and very fiery. I am feeling cautionary energy too on both sides. So for those of you who are single and this comes in, uh, just be careful. It may not be the best match for you. Um, but again, the attraction is quite strong. Same with committed relationships. For those of you for whom this is a renewal, a reawakening of the passion and the spark in your relationship, I think you're going to end the month being really, really happy because it's a, it's a very powerful, very fiery uh, kind of energy. So Cancer, that pretty much wraps up your love snapshot, your little glimpse of the path of love and romance for May 2017. I hope you have enjoyed it. Again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, uh, you can click on that about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage and feel free to email me directly at Maggie the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I will see all of you again in a couple of weeks for the mid-month general readings and until then as always Cancer I wish you joy, peace, blessings and a happy life particularly in love and romance. Thanks so much and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.